today I'm going to talk about the importance and the benefit of certifications, primarily on Cisco certifications. Uh, as you all are aware, uh, the exams for the Cisco certifications are getting harder. Uh, last year, Cisco had made a lot of tremendous changes on various level of certifications uh, in the format, uh, the approach of the exam questions. Uh, so I'm getting a lot of questions uh, from my students. Um, how do I prepare for these exams? I'm going to approach this session by sharing my own experience uh, and uh, you know uh, how did I prepare you know uh, for my exams. Uh, what my recommendation would be uh, for you all to prepare for this you know new challenge that you're facing uh, in the Cisco certification space. Uh, when we talk about certifications in Cisco space, uh, primarily everybody think about CCIE program. Uh, let me give you some background on the CCIE that program. Uh, started in 1993. Uh, the first CCIE number was 1025. Uh, so it didn't start at number one. It's, it started 1025. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, my CCIE number is 1922 so uh, and I got my CCI certification 1996 April uh, so at the time you know the way you know the preparation for the CCI exams that's the only exam that available at the time uh, so it is a two-day you know, lab exams to qualify you have to pass the written test uh, of course if there's no exam crack and so forth and at that time uh, so even to pass the written exams, it takes a lot of efforts. Uh, you have to study the material uh, and the information that's available in the Cisco uh, documentation CD or on the universe CD. Uh, so naturally, you know, I spend quite a bit of time, uh, almost a year, uh, preparing, you know, learning different topics, different technologies, um, you know, for the ultimately for the CCA exams. Uh, the key differentiator is not passing the written exam alone, uh, but it's the lab. Uh, many people have failed it many times, and many people have given up uh, even pursuing the CCI certification because of the lab. So at the time, there's a two days lab. Uh, first, uh, a day and a half is primarily building up the lab, lab topology uh, based on the requirements. Uh, based on different technology configuration that you need to perform. Uh, and the last half day is about uh, uh, troubleshooting. Uh, once you build, they break different components, different part of these uh, configurations, and you have to fix them. Uh, so at that time, uh, you know, uh, in, in my personal experience was, you know, uh, you know uh, I have to travel all the way from Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur to San Jose, California. It took me around, you know, 30 hours to fly across. Uh, but, you know, uh, passing for the first time, you know, it was a challenge. But definitely my preparation uh, for the exams, uh, one, the study materials, second, the lab. Uh, so, of course, those times there's not many options available for labs. Uh, so, pretty much I have to test many things in the production network or oh, uh, test network that you know was involved in many projects that required to do a, a proof of concept uh, type of labs where I'm able to practice different configurations, uh, different options, different parameters, uh, able to put forward my troubleshooting skills in those environment. Now, of course, you know, being a support engineer, you know, uh, on the field, you know, when customers calls for, you know, network issues, uh, then definitely that prepared me for the CCIS programs. So today we ask me, so what's so important about CCI certifications? Of course, you know, many of you know the return on investment is uh, quite attractive uh, for Cisco certification, primarily on the CCI uh, certification. Uh, but of course, you know, you get increased salary, uh, stability in terms of your jobs, uh, you know, ability to find new jobs around the world. Uh, so I can go on and, and on on this, you know, benefits of, you know, CCI certifications. So I think that piece, many of you understood very well. The challenge always, uh, you know, uh, how do I get one? Okay. Uh, so I tell a lot of students once, you know, uh, once you become CCIE, uh, it definitely helps you on your branding, marketing yourself. 
in the early days without the certifications, whatever you have done, to, you know, uh, in workplace or in projects, it's quite a hard, to, you know, to to articulate to another person that uh, never know you. Uh, so uh, you know, the CCI certification. Once you prove yourself in the certification center, uh, that's give you a certain you know, type of branding or marketing. Uh, to the people that you're trying to sell yourself or your skills. Um, I mean, to me, you know, being CCIE, you know, that shows the person that, you know, have a deep understanding on protocols, internet working technologies, uh, their conceptual understanding of different technologies of pretty clear. Uh, with that capability, they're able to perform uh, solutions or design and architectural work. Or in a worst case way, if there are issues in the network, they're able to identify isolate and able to trouble to the network issues uh, with a deep understanding they have on these different technologies of different component of internet working uh, uh, technologies um, you know being CCIE in, in, in preparing for CCIE becoming one it's also prepare a very strong mindset in troubleshooting complex issues uh, that involve multiple different multiple layers of distributed uh, network elements uh, so uh, that you know capability definitely uh, helps you to sell yourself for big clients that are willing to pay big dollars uh, today as you have so you know Cisco CCI program have different specializations unlike uh, in my days there's only one options which is the routing and switching in fact you know at the time you know 96 was only routing there's no switching so today you have, you know, one department is uh, routing and switching. You have storage, wireless, um, you know, service provider. Uh, there's a new one called service provider ops, security. So there are at least uh, six, you know, uh, different categories, specialization they can, you can pass your CCI program. But my recommendation always, you know, if you are a you know, new beginner into this uh, and you are targeting CCI, you know, go for routing and switching. There's a lot of knowledge base, understanding, books, material, labs available that support you in that category. So, you know, going back to my experience preparing for CCI exam, there are three things that help me to achieve, help me to achieve CCI. One is, you know, you know, coming from background system support engineering, where you have to go to the field and support customers, uh, support network issues that build your ability you know, uh, instantaneously solving problems, identifying problems, uh, clarifying the problems uh, with the customers. That base really helped me. Um, second, you know, uh, you know, uh, you know, I worked with AT and T, so I had a luxury opportunity uh, working with a lot of senior personnel from the United States that worked with Bell Labs, uh, big company projects. I'm able to tap into their knowledge base, their experience their mentorship that guided me uh, build my career uh, in the space of networking. Third, definitely, you know, uh, you know, being worked with the AT&T and with the IMS, you know, I had, you know, numerous opportunities, uh, you know, uh, learning different, you know, technologies, attending different classroom trainings uh, that over time build my knowledge base on different uh, technologies, you, you name it, from a remote access, to BGP, to MPLS, to IPv6, uh, uh, routing, switchings, uh, and different vendor technologies uh, that I've gained, uh, you know. So definitely classroom training helps you uh, give you a lot more shortcuts. Uh, working with, you know, uh, leading, you know, uh, engineers, consultants, that definitely helps you. And being, you know, working in a support role definitely helps. And my interest in CCA was initially uh, initiated by uh, a friend of mine from Seattle uh, by the name Chuck Shermis. Uh, definitely he installed that idea of, you know, a planning, you know, uh, you need to think about certification. Certification gives you uh, a way to, you know, promote yourself worldwide. Uh, I mean, imagine this is in a 1994, 95 time frame. So I took the advice and, uh, you know, uh, I pursued, you know, prepared for an, uh, almost a year and a, year and a half. Um, and finally, I took it, uh, you know, 96 April, first attempt, successful. Uh, you know, uh, the troubleshooting section, I still remember that. 
because you know I, I passed the configurations you know I qualified and I made it 